What's up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 41st PHP tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be talking about something called cloning. Now what cloning is, is it's a way to take an object and pretty much clone it, make a duplicate of it. But you just can't, you know, set one object equal to another object and expect everything to work fine because, well, we didn't really cover references or anything like that, but it just doesn't work like that so we need to clone an object a special way whenever we want a copy of it so let's go ahead and I decided for this tutorial what I'm gonna do is kind of recap everything I learned instead of just teaching you just about cloning so I'm gonna show you everything we learned um, and that's how to set up a class properly and by doing so I'm gonna teach you cloning so let's go ahead and set up a class called person and it's gonna have to have a couple attributes in it so class person and let's go ahead and make two private variables one is called age oops and let's go ahead and just copy that and let's go ahead and name this one color so say we're making a class of people and we want to record their age and their favorite color or something like that so let's make function set age and go ahead and pass the x and go ahead remember this age is equal to x so now whenever we want to set this age all we have to do is pass in a variable and wham bam thank you ma'am there you go so let's go ahead and copy this and we'll do the same thing for color but we'll change the name uh, set color and this color so how easy is that you just go ahead and copy change a couple keywords and there you go so now that we have our setters let's go ahead and build our getters to get you know the uh, age or the color so this is uh, even easier than the setter function get age empty parameters because we're not passing any new information we're just getting information and all we wanted to do is return this age in this case and now for our color let's go ahead and copy that and all this function is going to do is get color and it's gonna of course return color so the basics as you can see we have two properties right now an age and a color in this class this one sets the age this one sets the color this one gets the age this one gets the color easy enough so now let's go ahead and finally build some objects so I can show you guys pretty much what cloning is and why it's useful the first thing we need to do is well, let me just add some space right there and let's go ahead and make person called Bucky and set this equal to a new person because if you remember from up here our class was called person so Bucky is a new person it doesn't have any constructor so we don't need any parameters for that um, let's go ahead and populate his age and his color so let's go ahead and do that right now in order to do this you go type the name of your object put set age and of course my age is 23 actually it's 23 for let's see one two three more days it's my birthday in three days so let's go ahead and uh, now Bucky's age is 23 so now all he needs is a favorite color so Bucky what was it it was set color yeah set color and for the parameter type my favorite color can anyone guess anyone at all it's actually blue blue and white they're tied but you know this only asked for one so that's what I'm gonna give it so now we have an object called Bucky and he belongs to the class person so Bucky has a favorite number and that's 23 and Bucky also has a favorite color and that's blue but what if I have a twin named Tommy well in order to create an exact copy of this object we just can't do this or else it gives us a whole bunch of issues because an object isn't just another variable with a value an object kind of has is a special variable because it has a bunch of different values and a bunch of different methods so it's not just one value we're copying here so that's why we can't just do that so what PHP did is said whenever you wanna copy an object to another object go ahead and use a special keyword called clone and now type the object you want to copy so it's kind of like copying a variable but you just need to remember to put that special keyword clone 
right before the object that you want to copy. So now Tommy is an exact copy of Bucky. Tommy's favorite color is blue and Tommy's age is 23. So let's go ahead and change one of those parameters so when I output it you can see that this is actually a little bit different. So Tommy let's go ahead and um, set his favorite color to I don't know let's say it's red or something and let me make sure I have all my semicolons there we go good enough alright just making sure I got my semicolons right there alright so now what we did is we created a person called Bucky who's 23 favorite color blue now Tommy whenever we cloned him his favorite color was blue and his favorite number 23 but then we decided to make his favorite color red so now Tommy is the exact same age as Bucky which is 23 they're both 23 but they just have different favorite colors now so when we echo that if everything worked out perfectly that's what we should see so let's go ahead and echo everything right now um, let's echo both of Bucky stuff so Bucky remember get age and of course it doesn't take any parameters and let's just go ahead and, and concatenate it with a break so when we output it in our browser everything will look all nice and neat and let me go ahead and echo this echoes favorite number two actually just go ahead and copy this let me show sure you guys a nice look alright Bucky get age Bucky get color so what this is going to do is it's going to echo 23 and blue easy enough so let's go ahead and copy all that because we were way too lazy to type it and now let's echo out Tommy's information Tommy Tommy Tommy's actually named my cousins in case you guys were wondering go ahead and send him uh, some mail and check this out the first thing it's gonna do is echo out 23 and blue because that's Bucky's information that's the original information we got but we made a clone of Bucky called Tommy right here now Tommy's age is the same but we changed his favorite color right here to red so this age should be 23 still but his favorite color should be red so if everything went nice and neat and we didn't get any errors or forgot any semicolons or anything like that that's what it should display so refresh send yes and check this out well definitely uh, went back to notepad instead of my browser there but anyways check this out it didn't update for some reason update yes and there we go 23 blue that's Bucky's information Tommy same age 23 but his favorite color is red just like that so how awesome is that that uh you know that's basic basically what clone does right there it pretty much takes one object and allows it to clone another object and there's one more little thing I want to teach you guys about cloning objects but I don't know how long it's gonna take and I'll probably run out of time so anyways in this tutorial what we did is I taught you guys about cloning and I also recapped pretty much everything we learned in the past how to create a class um, why you should make private variables and public functions again um never mind but anyways I'm not going to tell you guys what we just learned because you just watched this whole tutorial. If you want to know what we just learned again, then watch the tutorial again. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And now you know how to clone objects. Now you're ready to move on to the next step in our object-oriented programming adventure. So, um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. So, uh, enjoy the tutorial. Check out my website and have a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays if you're Jewish. See ya.